Now to download Apache Maven. We should not find installing Maven a hard thing to do, but more people have issues at this stage than I would expect. So in this video, I'm going to show you the cut down installation procedure. Using all the default Windows tools, and we're going to discuss the environment variables that we need to create. Now, the thing is, we don't install Maven. What we do is we download it from the Maven site, unarchive it into a directory, and then set up some environment variables so that other applications can find it, and then we add it to the path. So the first thing we need to do is download it from maven.apache.org. Now you can see the Maven site has lots of information. I do suggest you read it and learn the, the Maven tool, but to get it installed, all we have to do is click on download, then scroll down and find the installation option appropriate to you. We are going to download one of the binary packages, either the bin.tar.gzip one or the bin.zip one. Choose the one that's most appropriate for your system. Since this is Windows, I'm going to download the zip file. Now remember, we want to download the binary. Do not download the source at this point. If you don't, if you download the source, you're not going to get it to work. We want to download the binary. Choose the one that's simple for your system to work with. So I'm going to save that. Now, if we scroll a little bit further down the page, we'll see the installation instructions. You see these for a whole bunch of different operating systems. We will use these as a basis for what we're going to do, but we're not going to follow them exactly. And I'll explain why as I go through it. So first thing, We've downloaded it. Let me unarchive this. Now I don't need to see the extracted files. Okay, let's see what the instructions tell us to do. I guess what we should do is check that Maven is not installed. We should have probably done that at the start. If I do MVN for Maven minus minus version, it says Maven is not recognized. And there's a whole bunch of synonyms you can use for the minus minus version. I'm going to stick with minus minus version just now because that's what's in the instructions here. So we know that Maven isn't installed because we've done a Maven minus minus version. I have downloaded it. Now let's see what the instructions say we have to do in order to install this. So it's saying unzip the distribution archive into a folder we want. So it says the subdirectory Maven Apache Apache Maven 3.1.1 will be created from the archive. Well, I've got 3.1.1 bin. There's the Maven 3.1.1. I can see a bin directory in there. So this folder is what I'm going to copy into this C program files Apache Software Foundation. So I'm going to try and follow these instructions as closely as I can. So if I open up uh, Explorer, to program files. I'm going to create this Apache software foundation. Now into there, I'm going to add this Apache Maven 3.11 folder. Great. So we're pretty close to the instructions at this point. Now what we need to do is add an M2 home environment variable. Now remember, I could have used any path I wanted here. This could have been C colon slash Maven, whatever path you want, whatever you have permissions to add this into. So long as whatever path you've used here, you use in the rest of the instructions. So to create an environment variable, I'm going to go into control path. I'm going to go into my computer properties, advanced environment variables. And you can see here, I've got a very simple set of properties. So first of all, I'm going to add the M2 environment variable into the user variables. So it's the M2 home environment variable I'm adding. And I'm going to use just copy this from their website because we did create it exactly the same as they have. Now, if you've got a different version, make sure your different version is there. Essentially, what we're doing is we're taking the path 
that we have here. Let me double check. This is the path that I've added in as a variable. So it's pointing into the same place. So I now have an M2 home variable pointing at the directory that we unarchived the Maven binary files into. Now it's also suggesting that we create an M2 environment variable with this value. I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to use this M2 in the path. And the reason I'm not going to is because you can see here that this is sorted in alphabetical order. What I found is that sometimes when uh, the path is trying to expand the M2 home, M2, what I actually get is the percent sign because it can't find the M2 home variable, so the path doesn't expand properly. So instead of this, when we add the path section, I'm going to do something different to adding the M2. Okay, so it says add the M2 environment variable and use variables. I'm going to skip this optional step about Maven opts. If I need to do that later, I can do that. Now it's saying we need to update the path environment variable to have the M2. This is what I'm not going to do. The reason we're adding this into the path is so that our applications can find the Maven binary files. I'm going to do it by adding on not the M2 variable. It would be nice and neat if I could add M2, but I've been on sites and I've been on environments and I've been on machines where it did not expand correctly. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to add the semicolon and I'm going to use the value that we had in the M2 variable. This is slightly less maintainable. This is slightly less nice. This is slightly uglier, but this is much more likely to work and much less likely to give you any issues. So by adding the M2 home slash bin into path, I should now be able to access Maven from the command line, but we haven't finished the instructions yet. The next step is to make sure that a Java home variable exists. Now the JDK installer did not add this for us. So I'm going to add that as well. It says add into user variables or system variables. I'm going to add it into the user variables to start with. Now we need the variable value for that path. Let's find that. I installed Java here. Now remember, we're looking for the root at this point. We're not looking for the bin directory. We're looking for the root because this is the Java home. So there I've got a Java home variable. Now the next step it's suggesting is add Java home slash bin into the path so that we can add, so that we can type the Java C commands and things like that, or so that Maven has access to them. Now, I have already added the JDK into the path, so I'm not going to add the Java home slash bin into the path. It should be fine. And that should be it. So I have added an M2 home variable. This is really important. I have added a Java home variable. This is really important. I have added Maven to the path by using the M2 home slash bin. That makes it work more reliably on different environments, or so I have found. And because I already have the JDK in the path, I'm not going to add the Java home in the path. So I should be able to OK this now come out the environment variables, they should be set. Now remember, Windows command prompt, if I type this again, it's not going to work. Anytime you make changes to the environment variables, you have to close down the command prompt. The biggest problem I see people having when they install this is they make changes, come back into the command prompt, try it, and it doesn't work, and they think the change has not worked. In effect, what's happened is the change has worked fine, but they're not testing that change. They're still using the old environment variables. So now if I do maven minus minus version at the command prompt, it's still not working. Let me copy this. I can see maven there. 
Now this worked fine for the JDK, doesn't seem to be working for this. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to take this out of the system variable path. And I'm going to create a new path in here. Let's see what happens here. I have to come out of everything here, come out of the command line. Now it works. You can see that some people have issues depending on the machine they're on. What happened there was, for some reason, on this particular system, putting the, uh, I suspect it was sharing the, the variables between the different sessions there. So if I have a quick look back here, you can see here that I had all these user variables, but my path was over here in system variables. So possibly when I was running the application, it couldn't expand the M2 home in the user variables because it's in the system variables. I don't know. I'm not going to investigate that much, but you can see what I had to do. I created the M2 home and I've added that into my path and is expanded correctly. So all is good. Now it shouldn't be hard. You saw there, even in this demo, even though I'd practiced, even though I'd planned this out in advance, it turned proved a little bit harder than I expected. But this is what you're gonna have to do. Create the variables, make sure you okay out of the environment variables and system properties, close down your command prompt, bring up your command prompt so that those variables take effect. Try it. If it doesn't work, you need to methodically start moving environment variables or things from the path around between the, the user variables and the system variables until it works for you in your environment. Remember to methodically make the changes, come out the system prompt, come out the command prompt, come back in. If you get in trouble, keep it simple, keep testing at the command line. This can be painful, but remember all we're trying to do is add that Maven binary folder into the path. That's all we're trying to do. The reason we get issues with it is because we're using additional variables like the M2 home variable, the Java home variable. Now these are all used by other applications, so they need to work. But if you really get stuck and you've set up the M2 home variable and you've set up the Java home variable, you can add this binary path directly into the path. You can add this directly into the path. It makes things a little bit less maintainable. And if you move Maven or add a new version of Maven and you're going to have to update that path in the different variables and the different path locations. And if you forget that, you might get confused at a certain point, which is why we like environment variables. But you saw there that if they're in the wrong place, if they're in the wrong order, if the path can't find it, that's why we get into issues. So I'm not going to edit this video and take out that mistake. I'm going to deliberately leave it in there so that you see what the mistake was, what I did to fix it, and you can understand the thought processes I went through when I was trying to fix it. But we've got Maven installed on this machine. It was a little bit harder than I expected, but it's there.